my name is Michael Suba. I'm president of Continental Hair here in Toronto and also the Toronto member of the Transitions International Group. So tell me, what, uh, what kind of look are you trying to, uh, uh, to give her today? We've well, we got a bit of volume here, then just bring it in to the night. Obviously this is shorter than what she had before, darker. So, And then just we'll toss it around a little bit. The administrator of the Transitions International Group, Mr. Greg Taylor from San Francisco. Thank you, Mike. Transitions International is a worldwide group with members from all around the world. And as you can see, we've put together an international team here for the, uh, this styling program. Uh, the stories that we're getting are just amazing. Actually, it's uh, helping change people's lives. It, it's so much fun to um, take somebody that, that, that their confidence is low and, and, and deplete a little bit and, and actually help them feel better about themselves just for the looks of their hair. So, so that's, that's one of the, the greatest things I can do. So, well, actually, the, the, the technology, um, the types of things we can get, um, uh, the production of these things. We have a lot more choices than what we had even just a few years ago. So we have some beautiful quality hair that we can use and uh, people cannot even tell that we have done something to help them look better about themselves. And you're doing, you're doing a short layer cut on her? Yeah, she's, um, she uh, said do whatever you want. So she's a lot of fun. She likes to change her style. So I'm not having to follow your haircut. <laughs> I really engaged with having alopecia. Everyone's journey is different. I'm very open about it, and I like to wear different hairstyles. If I'm in court, I'll wear a very conservative uh, hairstyle. And if I'm out on the road working, I wear something really funky and fun. Hello, Danielle, and how are you? Okay. This is coming along nicely. We are just, uh, she came and she was shorter, so we're leaving her on the longer side. And we're just gonna kinda angle out the front a little and give her a bang. So it's oh, a little terrific. different because she had a shorter, a shorter haircut when she came in. Oh, that's right. So you're going a little bit longer. Actually, quite, quite a bit. Oh, well, it changed me <laughs> in a way that uh, it's, it's actually had some good points because when you go, you know, out, uh, it only takes me about 15 minutes to get ready rather than the normal woman <laughs> of uh, an hour. Um, so I'm not as open as most people. You wouldn't think that being in a room sitting here with no hair on in front of all you guys, but, but we're all here for one reason. So this is Maria, and Maria has totalis. Is that correct? And can you tell us a little bit about your alopecia? Do your friends know that you have alopecia? My close friends do, but most of just other students at my school, they have no idea. Because the hair looks so natural. We really, really want to commend all of the uh, ladies that are here today and that uh, have the courage to sit up here and tell their stories and how much that means to us and how much we appreciate it. So I would like to uh, give them, have you all give them another round of applause for sharing with us.